Good morning, folks. Today, let's take a look at how we can use App Script to show and hide tabs. So let's start with a sheet, sheets.new, and we'll just uh, create this as a show and hide tabs. Let's give it a name. And then let's create multiple sheets. So I've got several sheets now I've created. Our next step is going to be now to go ahead and write an app script. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and call this show and hide tabs or rename it. Go ahead and let's call this function. We could uh, erase all this, but we could just start and we'll call this hide all sheets. So I'm going to call it hide capital A capital S hide all sheets. And our first function that we're going to want to do is to create a constant. So our const, well, yes, a const. And that's going to be ss is equal to spreadsheet app. Notice we can autofill that. Dot get active spreadsheet. And we'll finish that out. Put in our semicolon. And our next const is going to be ss. That we're just going to call this our current sheet name is going to be equal to, looks like we put in too many of those, equal to ss dot get active sheet dot, uh, actually let's uh, finish that out, dot get sheet name. Finish that out and const sheets is going to be equal to ss dot get sheets. It's going to list all the sheets. And then we're going to do sheets dot for each. And then we're going to list this as each sheet. We'll call it each sh is uh, going to be equal. And then we need our open curly bracket. Could leave a little space there. And in there, we're going to say um, we're going to say if sh dot get sheet name is not equal to our current sheet name then We're going to sheet dot hide sheet. So I think we're, we see that underline, we're missing a parenthesis. So for each sheet, if sheet get name is equal to, not equal to the current sheet name, then we're going to do sh.hide 
sheet. And then we just need to wrap this up. Let's save this. Let's see what happens if we try to run this our first time at running it. We would have to authorize it. And taking a minute to authorize here. Review permissions. Allow. And let's take a look back at our sheet and we can see we were on sheet six and that's the one that's hidden now. If we had a different sheet, uh, so now that we've done that and it, it, that seems to be working, let's create a new function. We'll copy all that, paste. Let's call this show all sheets. And what we'll do with this, instead of sheet.hide sheet, we'll do show. And let's go ahead and save that. Let's change to that function and run it. And let's come back over here and look. Yep, there we go. We see all the sheets again. So if I was on sheet one and I came here and I wanted to hide all sheets, we'll run and it's going to hide everything but the current sheet that I'm on. So that could be really useful. Now what we need to do is be able to make this run um, without having to come here to the script editor. So what we'll do with that is put in a non-open function. And let's see, I'll pop a little space in here, come up here paste in some uh, information I had here. In this case, we won't need to duplicate this, but we'll go ahead and add this global function of UI. And then on, on uh, UI, we will add a utilities menu. And I'm gonna go ahead and erase one of these. So what this says is on open, we're gonna create a menu called utilities. We're gonna add show all sheets, hide all sheets, and add it to the UI. We're going to go ahead and save this and then we'll want to run this function and when that runs now we'll see on our spreadsheet we have a utilities function show and when you do that we can show all the sheets if i come to sheet three and hide we will hide everything but sheet three so very very quick utility way you uh, to be able to show and hide all your sheets using AppScript.